I'm curious, you've been writing for a long time, and uh, I mean, I understand that you started writing uh, journaling as an adolescent. I did. Yeah, and then writing. Uh, and you're the author of three books, and uh, this one's the first one, uh, Somebody Stole My Iron. And then this one came out second. Yes. But it was actually the book that you had in mind for first book. Yes, that's true. Okay, so something happened in the meantime. Mm. Um, something happened. My parents both got dementia. Yeah. And I kept a journal through that to cope, a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. And after a couple of years of journaling, I thought, I wonder if the lessons that I'm learning, the things that I've been through, might be helpful to other people. Maybe I'm writing a book. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so over time, I mean, and really, this was one of those projects where you work on it, and then I, I put it away. Mm -hmm. uh, I put it away for three years at one point. From the time I started writing till the time it was published, nine years passed, which I suppose I've heard of other authors taking a long time for their first book. It wasn't that I was writing all that time. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of, you know, when you're writing a book, there's a lot of letting it settle. Yeah. And then coming back to it with fresh eyes and you think, oh, you know, I should have done this or I don't need that. And it's really definitely a process mm -hmm. and it builds patience. Well, there's a lot of collecting material in the meantime, too. I mean, I can, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's true. Definitely. And then this one was the one you had in mind to begin with, and this is yes. actually has to do with your great-grandmother? My Yes, my mom's grandma, my great-grandma on my maternal side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just learning about her life back in the late 90s when I was compiling a family history. Oh, yeah. I thought, boy, I would really like to write a book about this lady. She was, she was out there for a person in the early 1900s as far as things she'd accomplished and um, being married and divorced three times in 20 years. Well, that's a, unusual for the time. Yeah, unusual for the time, definitely. Yeah, I had a lot of fun writing that book. It, it was painful at points, but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And I just, I, you know, I was wondering about this book because I, I, I've written a, a biography of my wife's grandfather, and, and there are things in his past that, you know, weren't general knowledge in the family. Ah, well, neither yeah. same, same for yeah. Maggie. Same for do, Maggie. Do, do you do you think do you have hesitation about writing some of these things, getting them in a book? Or well, everyone in that book is past, yeah. and the descendants. Maybe I should have gotten permission, but uh, nobody complained. So oh, okay, it was okay. They're all just happy to know about uh, who yeah, she I think, was. And... Yes, a hundred percent. People were very excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it, this book took me back to Michigan where she was born and um, lived until she was 30, I think. And um, I found relatives I never knew I had through writing this book. Oh. Through They would contact me, mostly through Facebook. They would go, mm -hmm. I think we're related. You know, oh, and wow. So I ended up doing book signings and book readings uh, two or three times, three times that I can think of in the Michigan, Mount Clemens area of Michigan. That was really fun. Oh, that's <laughs> terrific. Okay. Yeah meeting all these people that I didn't know I was related to, right? Yeah. Hmm. And you said that with this one, you, you know, you'd put it aside for a while and then mm -hmm. you'd pick it up again. Mm -hmm. Did you have the same thing with this? Mm. Well, no, not so much. Uh, it just took me a long time to write it. Hmm. There was settling. Yes, definitely. Not nine years. It, this was four years. <laughs> okay. So, you know, you can see I, I'm coming along a little bit faster. Um, okay. I just, when I... I know there are, I'm sure, authors who write a, a book every few months or take mm. a year to write a book. And for me, I, I need the time to think for things to shake out and, and settle. Real, um, it, I think, for me, it made my books a richer book. And I know mm. that wouldn't be true for everyone, but it is for me because it happened again with my last book. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I found when I was writing is that I, I would take a little time out and just, you know, I'd have to step away from the computer and then I'd, I'd come back to it. But I found that I was writing even when I was washing the dishes or something oh, like yeah. that, you know, because I'm just kind of spinning ideas yes. and thinking of phrasing. Oh, and, that is absolutely so true. Yeah. Out walking my dog, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working through things. I get stuck on something, wake me up in the middle of the night, and a, a eureka moment. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, we yes, get this I, down, yeah. I relate to what you're saying. Yeah, yeah okay. washing dishes. <laughs> yeah, okay. For sure. Well, both of the books have been very well recognized. I think they're very well received. You know, they've uh, this was a finalist for the High Plains Book uh, Festival, mm -hmm. uh, and you've got uh, some awards for this. I Is did. That right? I did. I've won a Best Historical Fiction Book um, for New Apple Awards, and mm -hmm. I won a. Fi I was in a finalist in two other book um, award. Wow. With, um, indie indie books and I forget the other one. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, and you've written a lot of other things too. I mean, in your, in your professional career, as a, you were a, a specialist on uh, training women in lactation and breastfeeding. Correct. And then, that was, that was journal writing, but definitely an, another form of writing. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now this one. Okay. Let's These talk two about are family related for sure. Is this also family related? Yes, this is uh, in the interest of equality. It's on my paternal side. It's my. It's about my dad's parents, and my dad and his his siblings. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Really? So it says on the back there's there's a family secret. Oh well, yes. Now understanding that most. Of, Probably half of this book is based on stories that my father told me. So mm -hmm. it's filtered through his lens. But half of the book is my imagination. Uh, okay, sure. Mm. All right. At the very end of the book, it talks about what, what really happened and what didn't. But there were a couple of different... Uh, what the word I'm looking for? There, a couple of different situations that my father told me about his parents that I thought, oh my gosh, this, this is a, a book, another book. Yeah, okay. <laughs> another book. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I will, I'll tell you about one of them. It starts off with this. My grandfather in 1909 decided to join a carnival. Wow. And became a carnival uh, um, merry-go-round operator. Wow, Okay. And I just thought that was fascinating. It is. So I, there was a lot of research that went into this book. I researched what carnivals were like, what types of rides there were, what um, types of games there were to make it as authentic as I, as I could. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, I, I don't know. It didn't seem common to me that people's grandparents... Became carnival <laughs> merry ground operators, so that I thought I just thought that was a, a an interesting um, angle to. It is, yeah. yeah, for sure. The other uh, really startling um, scene, I'm not going to tell you, but <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, it, it's you'll just have to buy the book. Yes, that would be great. So, yes. Did you discover anything that that was surprising? I mean, this is based on your, on the stories your father said. But did you independently discover anything that surprised you? Um, no, but the writing process always surprises me. I thought I was writing a book about my grandfather. I was convinced I wrote it was writing about my grandfather. It wasn't until I was finished with the first draft that I realized it was a book about my grandmother. Oh wow! <laughs> and my grandfather was an important player in it mm -hmm. but he wasn't the main character anymore um this ended up i had to i rewrote the beginning and i rewrote or rewrote the ending oh wow okay because you suddenly realized the focus had the focus had shifted. shifted yes yeah and i do always recognize in my especially in my last two books the characters definitely have a mind of their own <laughs> they do i'm mostly just writing what they tell me to write and mm -hmm, I know mm -hmm. that maybe sounds kind of silly, but 
It's true. <laughs> I, I understand how it works. Yeah. You know, again, going back to that book I wrote about my wife's grandfather, I didn't know really what the subject was for probably 12 years. Ah, so you are a long-termer <laughs> like my first yes. book. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. it took forever. <laughs> so how did, you, how did your grandparents meet? He's a carnival operator. He right? is a carnival operator. Yeah. He started in Cedar Falls, Iowa with a carnival. Mm -hmm. And it slowly over the spring and early summer meandered north to a town in North Dakota called New England. Okay. North Dakota. And he went, I, so the story goes, according to my father, he hung out at a little cafe where she was a waitress. Oh. And by the time the carnival moved on, he didn't. <laughs> he just decided to stay, stay there for her. Yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. yeah. isn't that amazing? Yeah. Do you yeah. know what he did then? Um, well, you know, I do not know. I know he ended up farming, but oh, okay. I don't think he started out doing that. But I don't know. Again, the imagination is a marvelous tool. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to the point, I think, in the, in, did you end up adding your imagination to your, or is your biography pretty much what happened? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, yeah, okay. I had a lot of outside documentation. Okay, and so for my books, the, they are partially true, mm -hmm. but they're, the imagination had to come into play in some places to the point when I look back at some of the scenes, it's like, no, mm -hmm. I have to stop and think, did I make that up? <laughs> or yeah. was that, did that really happen? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, writing books are, is magical. It is, yeah. It is. And what you have is a book of historical fiction. It's it uh, is. Mm -hmm. based, and you were raised nearby. I mean, not, not in North Dakota. You were, what, born and raised in Miles City. Uh-huh. Not but you so couldn't get more Montana than that. No, I mean, you there's can't. no place in, in no. Montana that's more Montana. Nobody than Miles has City. a bucking horse sale like no. Miles City, Montana. And it was the end of the uh, the the big trail drives up from mm -hmm. Texas. It was like the destination in that's Montana right. where people first came. Yes. Yeah. And we know that by reading Lonesome Dove by McMurtry, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he put mountains or the people that made the movie put mountains <laughs> yeah, by right. Mouse City. Right. Um, in my book, New England has become New London. Uh, one of my editors said, you can't have New England. It's too confusing for people. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, it has to be New England. But I eventually capitulated. Yeah, yeah you look at the map, but it's, you know, <laughs> yeah, New, New England. England. It's no. not New England. Can't be in the book. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Interesting. Very much. Well, Vicki, thanks for coming in. It was great. Thank yeah. you for having me. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed this. I enjoyed the interview. So, thanks. You're very welcome. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to reading your biography. There it is. This has been a production of This House of Books.